So I have a student who says she has her exam at the end of this month, September. She says she has remaining NBMEs 27 through 30 with scores between 200 and 215. She has 1,300 questions left in UWorld unused. She's been averaging 70%, which is pretty good. And she wants to know what she can do next. And she says, P.S. I can't postpone my exam. And my answer, which will get some dislikes from people because it's unconventional, is you need to drop UWorld during the day right now. Okay, students are going to get emotional. Relax. You're going to drop UWorld as your primary focus during the day. You are going to memorize NBMEs 20 through 24. I've made lots of content on this stuff. You're going to screenshot your incorrects from each form into a Word document, save as a PDF slash PowerPoint. So you're literally going to have NBME 20, all your incorrects. NBME 21, all your incorrects, okay? If you're scoring between 200 and 215, you're going to have quite a few incorrects, okay? So you're going to be developing a large PDF. I don't want you to make separate PDFs. I want it to be one master PDF. I want you to not only memorize your incorrect questions and understand those, but I want you to memorize and understand the correct questions. And then in the evenings, okay, this is where this is sort of a we can meet halfway type of scenario because of I recognize the overwhelming sentiment many students will have about their regarding their reluctance to drop UWorld altogether, which should be in the evenings. Let's say after you spent eight hours going through NBME content during the day, you can do your old questions in the evening, okay? That's not a problem. Minimum 20 to 40 questions, okay? I'm not so concerned about the number of UWorld questions you're getting through right now because our focus needs needs to be you getting through the NBME content. I also want you getting through my PDFs. Now, ordinarily, I would say you could drop UWorld and do my PDFs in the evenings, okay? Once again, there will be many students who say, Mike, I don't give a fuck. I'm not dropping UWorld. So our compromise is go through the NBME content during the day, 20 through 24. You can continue your baseline flow of UWorld in the evenings. But I also want you going through my PDFs, my free high-yield PDFs from my website. Because here's the deal, okay? If you memorized forms 20 through 24, the offline forms, and you go through my high-yield PDFs, for uh, USMLE, your scores are going to be dramatically higher on 25 through 30, okay? Some students will argue that their scores are artificially inflated. They're not. If you're preparing the way you should be, your scores should go higher, okay? It's understandable that you don't, you are very emotionally invested in this exam. You want to make sure everything's accurate, that your, uh, your scores are going up as they should. There's no flukes. There's no inflation. The same way you're not off studying... Kaplan QBank two weeks out because that would be a bad fucking idea, right? Because it's not going to increase your scores the way you need it to. What you do want to do is focus on resources that will increase your score, okay? NBME is 20 through 24. And then when you do the online forms, 25 through 30, you're going to do the same deal as far as screenshotting your incorrects and adding them to this master PDF. So you knowing all of this NBME material, my free PDFs, that's going to dramatically increase your score. And if you don't want to give up UWorld altogether at this point, because your exam is the end of this month, you can maintain a baseline flow in the evening, e.g. 20 questions, to maintain your equanimity. That's us meeting halfway, okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.